Hello my treasures, it's time for the pack opening for the Titans set. I know this was a little bit delayed due to some technical difficulties on Blizzard's behalf, so let's begin with the golden packs first, just to get these out of the way since there's only five of them. Alright, let's see if we can snag ourselves a golden legendary out of these. It would be real nice. Probably won't be able to, but you never know. Nope. There's a few different things that I'm kind of hoping for. We'll probably get everything. Oh, creation protocol for uh, free bird. That's going to be fun. Oh, man, oh, man. Did I really use all my luck off T of T? Uh, this, I, I wish we had a little bit extra support for the earthen deck. Maybe one additional card would be nice. Wow. <laughs> We didn't even get a single epic out of that. Holy shit. Well, let's see how our luck is with the normal packs. Right, nothing here. Ooh, plague. A plague could be fun. Nothing yet. I know Automaton is what the creation protocol was actually created for. Oh, our first epic. Come on, something cool. Oh, that's actually fun. That uh, secret hunter is something that I'm looking forward to trying to use. Secret weapon hunter is what I'm thinking about doing. I did make a few theory crafts already. I haven't went back and finished off all my theory crafts, so expect that either Monday or Tuesday, probably when the set launches. Would be my assumption. Okay, another epic. And the epic is for... Uh, kind of boring. Oh, so we did get a new... Um, a new arbor up for druid. I, I I thought we didn't for some weird reason. I know I don't I don't think you can craft it or get it in arena. Oh, life binders. That's something I'm really looking forward to. Gotta love trying to make a Oh shit, there's our first legendary. Alright, what are we getting? Odin. Probably one of the better legendaries. I am a little bit scared about that card. Oh man, we almost hit the pity counter exactly for the first 10 packs. Holy shit, our luck is not up to night. So, keep on going. Another epic, that's a good sign. Or, or well, that's one of the only non-plague support for Death Knight in the entire set. Another epic, <laughs> of course. I, this card is probably going to be really, really good in a lot of different Warlock decks. Just because it's a nice, like, one cost removal spell for, with no real big downside if you have some type of death rattles. Maybe we'll see some, like, type of death rattle Warlock come into fruition. I could be wrong. You never know. These, uh, I don't see these two getting played. Weight of the world that's going to be annoying to deal with. It's going to probably be used mainly in aggro. And then, do we have anything else cool? More treant support. Warlock just seems all over the place in the set, which is kind of sad to say, but I think from the Theorycraft streams, it seemed to be one of the better classes. This is going to be annoying with uh, Hold Hound. That's for sure. Yeah. I'm curious about why they made discard warlock support too when they didn't add any additional discard. I, I mean, it kind of synergizes with the discard warlock support we saw in March of the Lich King. However, they're like three sets apart, so eventually we're just not going to have any cards to want to discard, even though we have the discard cards, if that makes any sense. I'd be curious if the mini set for Warlock is centered around discard support just because it doesn't seem... it. It's one of those synergies that we're missing one or two cards from it being actually playable. Another one that comes to mind is, of course, the... Oh, the Let's Go, a Legendary. And an Epic. Oh, this is a good pack. Okay, come on, something cool. Jotun. <laughs> we're getting all the... For the rest of turn effects. Also, all the cards that I have a sneaking suspicion that will actually get hit. Jotun might not be good if 
there isn't a board based meta. However, it has the potential of being really good eventually. Which is scary. All, all for rest of game effects are really, really scary. If you think about it for a long period of time. Two Tech Forge traps. It's also cool to see some Mugu in this set, even though we're not in Pandora yet. I, I would have liked a little bit more. But we'll probably, eventually, I'm assuming we'll go to Pandaria. What's this epic going to be? Son of Hordeer. There's probably a deck centered around this. Um, I know we don't have any of... Oh, actually, no. We do have one card that draws into a card that you shuffled into your deck. So maybe that would be useful there. You could keep just bouncing it back. There might be a rogue deck centered around Sharp Eye and stuff like that. I don't think you'd want to run that in that deck. I know uh, one of my theory crafts is for a sharp by combo deck, but the main win con is getting seven Yogs on the board, which isn't probably the, the best way to do it. You're probably going to want to use stuff like Eviscerate and such. I think we have all the common cards at this point. So we're... Because I'm starting to see a lot of duplicates. Oh... Can't remember if we saw that already. Okay, so choose one. Um, sucks that Staghelm is not in rotation anymore after we get all these choose one cards. But it is what it is, I guess. Alright, come on, epic. Be something epic. Oh, nah. <laughs> I'm scared about this card. That That's an art card that I'm really, really scared of. The nature package in this set for Shaman just looks absolutely incredible. Like there, there is no way that isn't broken like week one. There, there's a few synergies that I think are going to be hit. And from the little bit of, of the theorycraft streams I watched, there are some that actually kind of shocked me. The combo between reverb reverbications and Noragon is something that I didn't expect a lot of people to catch on. Um, I included both in my like elemental mage deck that I theory crafted on something cool. <laughs> right for that demon hunter deck. Uh, just because I thought, hey, a shadow tag is pretty good and being able to in theory do 20 damage at any point should also be really good. But again, that might be something you want to cut out of the deck because there might be some like sh shadow synergy that you want to grab from other classes. Like all the curse cards are pretty good to get. But discover magic won't allow you to get it. This is a card that I'm shocked I actually didn't come up with any theory crafts for. I might need to try to think of like a mill deck for that. I haven't come up with a, a death knight list yet. Oh, come on. Ooh. This is a cool card. Like, thematically, it's a cool card. It doesn't have any tribal synergy. Well, I mean it does, but it doesn't have any tribal tag on it itself. I am I'm would be very shocked. Ooh, Forge of Wheels. I don't think we've seen that yet. Boy, oh boy, do I, am I glad that I have like 20k dust because I, I have a sneaking suspicion I'm going to have to use a ton of it on this set. We also have like 5k gold, which is pretty good. For 50, an additional 50 packs. Down with the ship, we haven't seen that yet. Um, always love cards that are golden and that generate more cards. We're looking for like things like Helia. Uh, come on, something cool. Ooh, that... Okay, so this could be interesting. If you've magnetized this to something that has stealth on it, and then you give it also one Fury, then you're in a super good position. And I know that card... A lot of people at first glance thought it was going to be really bad, but I think it's going to be better than expected just because of one amalgam ban exists. Because if you can magnetize it to a one amalgam ban, you can get more copies and unless your opponent is playing something with a bunch of AoE board clears that can hit through stealth, then you're <laughs> going to be in a pretty good position. Our epic... We are getting all the plagues. We just are missing Helia at this point. But boy, oh boy, our, is our bad luck protection being really, really bad. <laughs> the funny thing is, uh, 
I jokingly said, because I've been playing a lot of TFT and I got extremely lucky with like two chibis uh, skins, which are extremely rare. <laughs> that is probably the worst epic in the entire set. Okay. I, I jokingly said my luck here was going to be horrible, but it turns out maybe that joke was not a joke. Maybe it's just reality, which kind of sucks. So I'd rather have had the good luck over here. Oh, there's a legendary. I think that is almost exactly on the pity counter. Come on, something cool. Argus. Love Argus as a character. The card itself, I don't know if I like it that much. I know it, he's decent. He's just in a weird position where I don't think he fits into any of the decks that were supported in the set. Maybe the big demon demon hunter deck. Man, that's a mouthful. Come on, epics of the ghoul. Uh, th this could be good in the future, but I think that's just going to be a tech card that doesn't see any play. Might see play in something like a ETC. Cool, but outside of that, I don't think it will. All right, we definitely are approaching the rare completion. I think we actually do have rares all done now. I'm going to watch out to see if we get something that I've noticed we've had twice or three times. Momentum. I do like how they added the bad luck or not bad luck. Yeah, I guess. Uh, okay, okay. A good. Oh, there's something with this card. I just don't know. You, you would need something to... Oh, you know what you could use this in combination with? You could probably make some type of... Um, you could make a Fatigue Warlock deck where you're using this card plus uh, Sympathy of Sins doing 6 damage to the entire board repeatedly while also copying this Death Rattle as much as possible and then just basically give yourself infinite copies of the 6 damage to everything. Now, is that going to be a good combo? Probably not. Uh, it probably won't be at all. But you never know. Yeah, Weight of the World definitely confirms that we, we have all the epic or rares. So I'm just going to go through these fast until we run into a legendary. I mean, I guess I can still hover over them. But boy, oh boy, is this like the worst pack opening I've had in forever when it comes to our stone. It is cool that we got at least one of the Titans and we've gotten two of the Watchers. Essentially, we... Outside of the Epic's Trial by Fire, I don't think that card will see much play. There might be some fun little deck that you could try to use that card with. Now, if it was in Demon Hunter, then you might have a better... Ooh, there might be some weird memes that you could do between the Demon Hunter Legendary and, like, Pyromance or whatever it's called. Pyrotechnician where you're trying to get that seven cost spell. However, I think the fire pool is a lot bigger than it was before. So eh, that might not be consistent enough for you to actually want to try out. Could be fun though. Hey, we got <laughs> man. Holy shit. This pack is really good. Loken's really, really good from what I've seen. Rune or runic atonement isn't bad either. Judge unworthy probably isn't the best. I have it in the Paladin Theorycraft I came up with for Tony Paladin, uh, which I don't expect to do well, but it should be funny enough to try to make it work. Mech Leaper. There's a lot of cards that I just forgot existed in this set, but at the same time, there's a lot of like packages that should be playable. I do feel bad for the classes that only really have like one or two packages. Or I mean like one package in the set compared to the ones that have two packages. Just because it's going to be a lot easier to come up with new decks for the ones that have two packages or three packages in it. And the ones that don't like Death Knight for example. There's only one package that you can really do in this new set. Now there's a other idea that you could maybe try out using some of the neutral cards and such. I don't know how strong that's going to be but we that might be something to try out. But I think... Uh, plagues are going to be the main thing that you're going to try. Hey, Mimiron, let's go. <laughs> Is our luck turning around? Mimiron should be fun. Again, it, it, it's interesting that they actually... I, I mean, lore accuracy, technically not the most accurate keeper. Because he should still technically be a... 
like a, a, a in his actual keeper body and i was kind of hoping that we could see like official artwork of that but it is what it is you you he's more known for being a mechanome than he is for being a keeper i don't think there's any official artwork of him at, in his keeper form before loken killed him i know there's some like fan arts and stuff of him though we also got to be careful with not using the the five normal packs. Oh, uh, treants. <laughs> that was a treant full pack. Now, what are we missing out of Demon Hunter? We're missing... Uh, oh, we're missing the, the new big demon. That's the only thing we're missing out of Demon Hunter. Which, if I'm going to try to make Argus work, that's actually the one card that I really wanted to see. Is this going to be it? Uh, no. Uh, this could be interesting and, like, wild. It is a one-mana card, so in theory you should be able to make things like Fan of Knives scale up really quickly. But that does require, like, a three-card combo. So I don't know if you're going to want to try to do something like that. Could be fun. Oh, the second Constructor. That's perfect. Some Zandalore lore there. 40 packs to go. I don't even remember getting some of these card backs, to be honest. But boy, oh boy, is our luck really, really bad tonight. Just a little bit more slow. This might be a good card in the long run, but I, I, I have my doubts. I think there's just better ways to scale up your damage. It's a neat idea because it makes it where you never go into fatigue, and that might be the reason why a control priest deck might want to run it. Because if you can't go into fatigue, then you just win out the game by having a slow match. But there might be other like things you want to do. You could also use Sharp Eye in order to draw into it. Might as well keep talking about it since we just got a second more of who knows how many. Are, are we just going to get like one of those in every single pack? Okay, good. <laughs> Repeat there. Epic for Hunter. What's the other... Hunter Epic. Can't remember. I, I feel like like half of the set I know what is, and the other half I'm just like, oh yeah, that was a card that they printed. Just give me two more legendaries, please. I really want to ta make Taunt Warrior work at some point too. It's a deck that I always go back to, but it always feels like it's missing one or two cards. <laughs> Like, some of the cards that... Hey! Oh. I mean, that should, in theory, transform them into golden copies, right? Um, not really an epic that I really wanted, but it is what it is. Okay, there's an art epic. And uh, the other chain guardian. Only five packs to go. Would love to be able to finish this off with two legendaries, but... Oh boy, oh boy. We have to be hitting, like, under. Really feels... How many... We've gotten, like, five legendaries and we had 150 packs. Holy shit, this, this has been horrible. Um, I wonder if there's a bug going on. Which may not be a good sign if there is. Packs go. Uh, oh, this is an R card that I think we'll probably get hit. Probably because of Wild, to be honest. Hey, there's our legendary. Hey, the Primus. Okay, our second Titan. All right, now in the last 18 packs, can we get a uh, an R legendary, please? Boom, oh, giant. Okay. It is curious that we didn't get any Forge legendary this time around. Um. I'm assuming it'll probably be saved for the mini set. Weirdly, our epic luck has been a lot better than normal, I think. It's just our legendary luck has been down. Lightning reflexes. Oh, man. That card plus the epic that we got way, way earlier makes me worry. Speaking of an art epic. Still a cool epic. 
the extra body on board if you need an extra body, or it's just going to be something that you use to buff up whatever key minion you want to buff up. Probably hold hell 90% of the time. And I think it gives whatever you give it rush. So that could, in theory, come up, depending on what they print for additional minions and such. Hey, we can finish this off with at least one more epic. Come on, something cool. Sif. Not Malagos, but it's close enough. All right, nine more packs. This should be cool. I, when I was making my theory crafts, I had to decide between doing something with just the pure elemental support or doing something with Sif. I have a sneaking suspicion a lot of people are gonna do something with Sif, so we're gonna try elemental mage first, hopefully. Come on, something cool. Really, really cool art. I love the art. It just is a horrible, horrible card. Because in theory, it shouldn't count for things like Freebird. You could, in theory, use it to buff up like an automation, I guess. So you have an 8 8 base and then whatever additional stats you got. But boy. All right. Three packs to go. Can we get another legendary, please? I know that our chances of getting it in the last packs is probably not going to be that high, but. Given where we got the last one. But it would be cool if we could, right? Come on, please. Last pack. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's pretty cool. And not a man. Okay, so the average is like every 20-ish packs, right? All right, let's look at Titans. We got one, two, three, four. I really was hoping for Amidas, to be honest. Five, six, seven. Oh, we didn't get any of the neutral legendaries, did we? We got seven. Seven out of a hundred. Math. Do the math. We had 149 divided by seven. So we were averaging one every. Tw I, I guess we got the average. Like we got exactly the average, which is um kind of sad. Like the the ones that I did get, and we have enough dust to like craft the majority and uh, enough gold um but yeah definitely one of my weaker openers for on the channel kind of to be expected to be honest just because uh i've been having some good luck in some other games recently but let me know down below how well your pack openings went I, hopefully they went a lot better than mine and like always if you enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe until next time bye bye